video we are going to turn on the mongodb atlas so that we can store all of our applications data whatever the data of the movies we have over here in that app we can turn it into a database so that we can have inside the mongodb database so inside the folder root folder i have to configure the project structure as the front end and the back end so we have a new whole new folder we have front end so i'm going to place all of the content here inside the front end directory so we can have a nice spread of front end and back end inside our project structure so it is all done okay we have all the things okay we don't need the vs code by dot vs code we have the node modules working fine public all present okay source all present okay the front end is complete okay the front end is complete dot getting no present okay so now we have to make a new folder inside the root directory as the backend since we are starting the backend and inside we have the app.js file the core of our backend and we have to in integrate the mongodb atlas into our app so you can start for free or i have already an account so i can log in so this is what a mongodb project looks like you can make you can make a project i am going to make it i am going to name it movie maker and then the create project and now it is spinning it is creating a project with the name as movie maker okay now the project has been made movie maker i have to add a cluster so let us build a cluster now we have plans over here some nice plans with dollars over here but i don't want these i want a free cluster and we have aws clusters okay don't do anything over here we have a great cluster so now it is showing your cluster is being created and it will take around 1 to 3 minutes so till then let us consume our time in something else so inside our core let us start we have cd backend and then npm init by to initialize the npm package in our backend we have this package.json okay we have npm i express the express library and we have the mongoose the npm package for using the mongodb atlas in our application okay it's installing it's done now we have node modules inside our backend and package log.json okay we have cons express is equals to require express to initialize the express library we have cons app is equals to express to extract all the functionalities we want from the express library yeah, app dot listen port 3000 but the 3000 is occupied with the front end so let us check inside the app dot js we have 3000 so we'll change it to 4000 Okay, so we have a function. We'll say console dot log port on four thousand or server on four thousand something like that. Okay, server on port four thousand. So we have a normal request app dot get to forward slash. So it will be local host colon four thousand slash, and we have the request response inside the array inside the body. Sorry, we have rest dot send hello from the app dot js hello from backend app dot js so we have this guy over here this will render whenever i hit slash or local host slash inside the browser so we have inside package dot json we under the scripts we have test related we have the dev and inside dev i am going to write node app dot js so that i can type npm run dev inside my console so when i hit npm run dev you will see server on port 4000 so let us go to port 4000 okay local host okay it's done building the clusters now we have to connect so let us first check local host 4000 slash okay slash is not required hello from backend app.js you will see our uh, app.js is working all fine so now we have to connect to our mongodb atlas so now we go to the connect and inside the connect we have add your current ip address add your current ip address okay 
Now create a MongoDB user with the username and then the password which will be used by the project. We have the username as admin and the password as also dash dash dash. Okay. We have choose a connection method. We have connect with your application. The second one. Now copy this string, this long string and then close this. Now we have the string copy to our clipboard. Now inside the app.js we have to use mongodb with the mongoose. So we have const mongoose is equals to require mongoose. So that we can use mongodb atlas inside our application. So we have mongoose dot connect the connect function which will trigger once the connection is established. And then this will take two arguments. First is the connection string and second is the object. Object and inside object I have to use use create index or URL parser. Okay, it's true. Use create index true and then use unified topology unified okay and then true. So now we have these three things set as true. And now we will pass the first argument that is the connection string, this long connection string and replace the password with our password which was dash dash dash. And now you saw it. Okay. And we have the DB name, whatever the name of the project you made. We have movie maker for this one. Okay. Movie maker for this one. So now we have to dot then. So that whenever the connection is connection happens successfully, we have the dot in. We inside the dot in we have console dot log something like MongoDB connected. Okay, MongoDB connected and dot cat so that if we get an error, we can trace it like this. Error. We have console dot log, then the error, the string error, and then the original error we get from the MongoDB. Okay, so now we are done with connect connecting the MongoDB. So now let us check. Okay, restart the terminal. NVM run dev. Now if it works fine, now you will see the console.log MongoDB connected. Okay, yes. You see the MongoDB under the port 4000. So now it works fine. Our code works fine and MongoDB is connected to our application. So now we can add our own data and you can see we have don't have any data because we have collections zero. We have not added our data to the MongoDB Atlas, but soon we will. So this is all working fine. We have connected our application to the MongoDB. In the next video, we will start the GraphQL server and sending requests to the GraphQL server so that we can start with our GraphQL application. Thank you.